Marconi. Experts say you should seek shelter in a house during an electrical storm, but if the house is protecting you, what's protecting the house? A Dundas company has the answer in tonight's Doing Business segment. That's coming up after the break. With Heather Hiscox. That way tonight. As we turn to doing business for this week, the deaths of two men in Brawny Creek Provincial Park had us talking a lot this week about lightning and its lethal power. We looked into how to ensure your personal safety this week. Tonight, though, how to protect your personal property. A Dundas company makes a device that can prevent the electrical appliances in your home from being destroyed by lightning or any other power surge. CH's Natalie Marconi now has more on Clean Volt in this week's edition of Doing Business. This is the type of destruction we usually associate with lightning. But when a tree falls on a power line or lightning strikes a hydro pole directly, the damage can be much more extensive. When I moved into a new home, uh, the very first week I was in it, uh, lightning struck a neighbor's tree and it actually uh, blew out my electrical panel. It's a costly problem that strikes about three homes in the Hamilton area every time there's a severe storm. And according to Hamilton Hydro, modern technology has made us even more susceptible to damage. What's changed is this, the equipment that we use today and the sensitivity. More and more of the world is, is being run by a computer chip, and that's very sensitive to variations in, in voltage on the utility system. That's where this new device comes into play. It's called CleanVolt, and it's installed on your electrical panel. What our unit will do is detect those spikes and surges and shunt them off to ground. The device cleans the electricity coming into your home because it won't allow any more than 130 volts to pass through the electrical panel. That's only 10 volts more than you usually use. But major power surges happen often, rain or shine, and usually at the least convenient times. The transformer at the corner blew. It sent a surge into our house that blew the oven. So Thanksgiving Day, the wife has a turkey already and no oven. <laughs> this is the damaged oven component that the makers of CleanVolt say their product could have saved. And by protecting against electrical overload, most electronics will work better in general. Every time my microwave went off, my computer would freeze up, so I knew there was some sort of electrical problem. The unit itself cost $600 plus installation, but it could potentially save thousands of dollars worth of electronics in your home or business. Now, CleanVote also comes with a lifetime warranty, and it can be reinstalled if you decide to move, so it's an investment in your home that you can take with you. And what's the difference, Nat, between this advice and a surge bar? I thought that protects appliances from being zapped by lightning. Well, Heather, a lot of people think that, but you have to be very careful. You have to look at the packaging and make sure. Now, a surge bar is what they call a suppressor. Now, suppressors, they can take uh, a, a power surge, but not to the extent of a lightning bolt. Uh, a clean bolt is called an arrestor, and arrestors can take the power of a lightning bolt. What you should do is when you're buying a surge bar or something like that, if it says it is a suppressor, usually if they get struck by lightning, the actual unit will be fried and the appliance it's hooked up to won't necessarily be protected.